All rise. <laughs> What's poppin', honey? This is Jerome Pan. Some may call me J Pan, but for you hoes, it's Judge Pan. Okay? The pen call is in order, hoes. The pen call is in order. So what's really good? Bum ass bitches and pussy ass niggas. <laughs> honey, I've got a shady ass jury that got holy per receipt that ready to be processed. Okay? And honey, you already know. Some of these motherfucking celebrities out here doing the most. So who the fuck is out here committing trees and how the fuck got my wig all out here moving differently the fuck but yeah honey like i said the courtroom gonna be shady as fuck the jury gonna be petty as fuck and judge pan out here gonna be you know giving them my fucking verdict in a sassy way so honey your ass better get into it and all i want to know is who the fuck gonna try me okay don't try me hoes don't fucking try me the fuck <laughs>
going to any platform and talking about, oh, this bitch done this, this bitch done that, this whatever, whatever. Because I'm not being funny. I'm pretty sure Britney of Taylor, like, you know, she's taken L's before in the past in terms of, like, you know, getting beat up or getting punched and getting whatever. I mean, come on, bitch. You grew up in New York City, okay? So that's nothing new. That's nothing biggie. But... She's a smart bitch. She did that as a smart move. That's what people need to understand. Okay? She, she did not do it as, you know, like a weak ass, you know, victim ass bitch. That's not her. Okay? Britney of Taylor knew, you know what? If I expose this bitch, because it is what it is, you know, she stays playing dirty with my fuckers. So, you know, let me give a dose of her own medicine, okay? So let me run with this narrative and go up in this platform and let me get my clout. Honey, you get your clout, okay? It serves you right, because Remus stays playing dirty, okay? So it is what it is. And shout out to her attorney, like dead ass. Look at this clip. Regarding guilt, not, not comments made by a criminal defense attorney. Sandra what do you want to say? Attorney okay. for. So yeah, shout out to her attorney, okay? And, uh, he came in, he came with lawyer. facts. He ain't messing around the phone. See you, in See you in court, okay? That's exactly what's gonna happen. So it is what it is. I'm. I'm rooting for Britney of Taylor, okay? I'm rooting for her. She's four tens with the shits. So you do your thing, honey. You still with the shits. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. And I hope you can come back harder, you know, with your music or whatever. And ride with it. Ride with it. People are saying, oh my God, she's dragging it. She's dragging it. Well, Remus was out here dragging it, doing the most coming for women, you know, who are successful for no reason. You know, talking about Nicki Minaj. Even though Nicki had nothing to do with this Britney of Taylor versus Remus. Remy Ma, should I say? But I'm just saying how it is. You reap what you saw, okay? Remy out here doing the most about women empowerment, whatever, whatever. But she's not about that. She doesn't represent that. She stays being toxic as fuck, okay? So shout out to, you know, Britney of Taylor. I'm rooting for you, Britney of Taylor. And I hope, you know, you win the case and everything. And I hope everything works in your favor, okay? If you wanna be, if you wanna be more dramatic, honey, be more dramatic. If you wanna go to Ellen and talk about what happened to you, go to Ellen. You know, I'm pretty sure, you know, Wendy Williams out here, you know, she's, you know, she, <laughs> she's shook of Rima, so, you know, she's not gonna be out here having you on her show. But honey, ride with it, okay? Ride with it, okay? Expose that hole for what she is. Cause she ain't shit. So honey, the verdict for this case, and that difficult for me to work out, okay? Remus, Remy Ma, your ass is going to jail. And that's on period. The fuck, the fuck she thought out here doing the most. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Papoose is ass is sick and tired out here going to bail her out in court every goddamn minute. Like so, the fuck. What, what Bitch, you just had a child. What the fuck? And a good look. And a good look whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know who she's trying to be impressing. But honey, you're way too old and you're heavy breathing way too much out here for you to be doing the absolutely most. Okay? Chill the fuck down. Simmer the fuck down. The fuck. But anyway, your ass is going to jail and that's on period. So let me keep it moving. Hmm. Honey. Iggy Azalea, I'm gonna keep it cute with her, okay? I'm not gonna be out here, you know, saying Iggy Australian, whatever. I'll give her props and props. I'll give her props. That's why I'm gonna address her with her name and, you know, and not be out here, you know, on my savageness, you know? So Iggy Azalea, honey, she came through with a new visual, okay? And her song. So, you know, I have a little clip of, you know, um, take a look at the clip of the video, should I say? You know, look at it. Get out of line, okay, I do it big, okay, like I'm a giant, okay, okay. I waste my wine before I ever waste my time, okay, get out of line, okay, it's going mm -hmm. down, okay, mm -hmm. you know my temper is way shorter than the vine, okay, we not the same, no mama, I don't wait in line, okay, you say you okay. wish like Mufasa, you Okay, Iggy, okay. we see you, like I said, you have to give respect when respect is due, like, it is what it is. I'll take Iggy Azalea over Cardi to be any time, any day, any hour, any second, any place, okay? If you had to choose. Because with Iggy, at least, you know, the bitch makes an effort. The bitch tries. She stays trying, okay? She stays trying, point blank, period, okay? So shout out to her, you know, doing her thing on this song, you know, and the videos. The videos, like, she's giving us visuals. Like, she's really doing her thing in 2019, you know? Because ain't nobody out here being a hater. People need to understand, you know... Nikki fans, Nikki stands like, you know, Babs, like, we're not haters. We just give, we just say how it is. We just keep it 1,000. We're just savages. They're fuck, okay? So me being a Nikki fan, Nikki stan, I I'm gonna keep it 1,000. And I'll give Iggy Azalea her respect. She did her thing, okay? You could tell her she took her time. 
with this visual. It wasn't rushed. It wasn't half assed You know, she obviously put a bag on it because the production, as you can see, is kind of big and everything. Okay. And she had to make sure she, you know, she had to make sure she include the drag queens, you know, showing respect to the LGBTQ, you know, all that diversity going on right there. Okay. So she's doing that thing. Okay. She's doing that thing. And it's a cute bop. It's a cute bop. Okay. So yeah, again. The verdict for you right about now, you know, and hopefully it stays the same. And, you know, and I, like I said, I'll give respect when respect is due. So the verdict for her is winning and blessed. Okay, Iggy. Okay, Iggy. You're out here winning and blessed. We see you. Okay. Just don't be doing the most now. Okay. Just keep it like this. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. So let me, let me move on to my next topic. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 The reason I'm saying, hmm, because I'm looking at something right now and I'm thinking like, hmm, give me a minute. Yeah, so, hmm. Drizzy Drake, okay. Drake out here doing, you know, doing the most. As you heard, the beginning of my, you know, of the pen call realness, um, what I was saying, you know, like, it is what it is, like, Drake out here does the most, as you can see in this picture, have a look before I get into it, and it's relating to Drake out here moving close, close to Mega the, you know, Mega the Stallion, because Mega the Stallion is a new hot girl in town, okay, on some real hot girl shit, okay, some Texas shit, she's like, Honey, I fuck with Megan. That's all I gotta say. Okay, I live for her. She's everything. Okay, and as you can see, Drake, he just stays. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, every new fucking shit about Drake, his ass has to be on it. Like the fuck, like it just does. Like sometimes you have to ask yourself. You gotta ask yourself. Like yeah, we get your big artists and whatever this and this and this and this and this and that. But you need to understand, like time has changed. Just because you're a big artist, it is what it is. But it's all about what's happening now and what's current and, you know, and what's happening and everything. Because, hmm, he just stays on jumping on bandwagons, doesn't he, now? He just stays jumping on everything, okay? Like, he done left my country in the UK out here, you know, like, trying to be the citizen, you know, like, jumping on everything and everybody, okay? And now, you know, back to the US, not wasting no time. Trying to get kissy kissy pally pally with you know Mega the Stallion, but like I said, have a look at this picture because Mega the Stallion, like you can tell, like she ain't you know she ain't no dibby dibby idi idi you know idiot gal, fool fool gal, okay, she ain't no stupid gal, you know she ain't no bozo, she ain't no she, like she ain't no dumb bitch, okay, you could tell that this bitch, Meg, you know she like. Like, she, she ready for this, okay? Like, she ready for this. Like, she not, like, she ain't new to this right about now. She true to this, okay? So, yeah. So, have a look at, have a look at the comments. Have a look at the picture. Have a look at this. Hmm. As you can see, honey, okay? Meg was letting the motherfuckers know, like, no, no, boo-boo. This ain't no Steph London out here, you know, doing the most out here, jumping on, you know, jumping on Drake's dick, you know, just trying to be, you know, on fake, on fake <laughs> dating, you know, so you can, you know, get some promo, whatever, some clout, whatever, whatever. Meg ain't doing that. Meg just keeping it cute, saying that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Because Meg knows. She knows what time it is. And shout out to her, honestly. She's gonna go far, she is. She's gonna go far. And I'm rooting for her. Hmm. You know, she even got Pinocchio but out here nervous. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna be talking about Cardi B right about now, and and I stay being petty. I stay I stay calling her Pinocchio Bird and Cardi B because that's just how I be. I mean, you know, I'm a savage bar, okay. But on some real shit, I'm not gonna talk about. I'm not gonna talk about Cardi B on this, uh, the pen court realness. But I'm just gonna just quickly just touch on that part. You know that she's Cardi B's. Cardi B's threatened. She is. You know, it is what it is. Like she knows there's a new hot girl in town. Okay, and she's about them bros. Okay, she's authentic with it. Like her label ain't gonna be spending millions and millions just to market her. Okay, she's authentic with it. Like no need for a village. A village ghostwriter. No need for Russian bots out here doing the most with payola. Just no need for her to be jumping on any sort of my fucking hate for my fucking train. Okay, she's ready for this. Okay, she's ready for this. So yeah, <laughs> Cardi B is nervous out here saying, you know, I did not say this comment. This comment is not true. Whatever, whatever. Have a look at the comment so you can know what I'm talking about. But I'm telling you, the bitch did say it. Point blank, people. I don't give a fuck. She's out here doing the most when I, you know, create some sort of a buzz. Okay. But she did say it. Have a look at the comment. 
And by the way, she touched on my girl Nikki and the Queen, like, honey, like, cut it out. You don't want no problems for you to be going on your fucking live out here starting crying again. Like, oh my God, oh my God, the Bams are saying this, the Bams are doing us. Well, bitch, what did you do though? Oh, you spoke about their fave. So what the fuck did you expect? The fuck? And what I can't understand is how little fans. They be sending me death threats. They be on other celebrities, you know, pages and whatever, whatever. Whenever, you know, someone speaks out about Cardi B, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, bitch, you need to understand. This is the business. Your fans out here stay doing the most, okay? So yeah. Back to what I was trying to say. Look at this comment. I know she said it. I know she said it. And I stand by it, okay? Read. Hmm. Well, honey, it's a lot. I'm pretty sure you just paid attention to, to the keywords, okay? But, yeah. She's threatened, okay? With all them fake number ones, with all the fake awards, and, you know, all that payola business going on. You are, because at the end of the day, you're not an authentic rapper. You're a karaoke rapper out here doing the most, you know, like trying to be riding on some on some bullshit fake ass wave, okay? So it is what it is. Authentic rappers, they're stepping up. They're stepping out, okay? So now... Okay, I want to speak about Lil, Lil Nas X. Like, okay, so you already know. Like, he stays denying him being a barb. And that's one thing about me. I'm Jerome Penn, and I always be saying this. I'm a proud barb. I'm a proud Nicki fan. I'm a proud Nicki supporter. So no matter where I be, no matter where I go, no matter whatever happens to me, bitch, I must still have the same motherfucking energy. The fuck you thought, okay? And I must still say exactly how it is. Yes, my ass... Supposed to queen, my ass is a Nicki fan, and my ass is a Barb, okay? And that's on period. That's on black clap period, the fuck? But anyway, some motherfuckers, they just stay out here being ungrateful. They just stay out, they just stay out here being black clap ungrateful. You know, as soon as they get some little fame, some little clout. Motherfuckers, you know, forgetting, motherfuckers don't be knowing how to act. Okay, don't be knowing how to act. So yeah, so we already know. Lil Nas X, you know... He's out here, you know, staying, you know, saying, you know, he's not, like, the receipts are there. I don't fucking understand. Why does he stay out here lying? Why you stay lying, boy? What? Because you, because you want to be appealing to the straight people, them, and the country music, so you don't want to be out here with a homophobic business and whatever, you know, because some people want to be stereotyping Babs as if, like, it's a gay thing. Babs is not a gay thing, bitch-ass motherfucker. Okay, the gay thing is you're asking none who the fuck you is, okay? You know, Babs is a powerful thing. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, okay? So, I don't get him. I don't get him. If, if not that, Per usual, the industry, you know, they stay doing the most whenever someone, you know, gets on a big platform. They want to be making them be a Nikki hater in one way or another, you know. And it's pathetic as fuck. I just don't understand. Like, Nikki's, Nikki's legendary and fucking iconic. Like, are you fuck Like, bitches, your hoes better fucking put some respect on her, okay? Out here doing the most. But yeah, honey, as you already know, Lil Nas stays, Lil Nas X. Stays denying, you know, his past. But the receipts are there, okay? So, shout out to the Babs who stay pulling, you know, who stay showing them receipts, okay? So, have a look at this receipt. As you can see, his at name. As you can see, okay? It's a Bab. It's a, you know, it's a Nikki Stan fan page, okay? So, that's not enough. Right about now, he's out here moving with um Nikki's old management team and whatnot. So, I'm confused. He's asked that he's denying being a bar, but it looks like his past and present, his future, is somehow, you know, head bar influence. Okay, talking about Nicki Minaj. Okay. So, he needs to cut this out. And just like own up to your shit and keep it 1000. Because us babs, our asses don't be forgetting. Our asses got receipts. Nobody's hating on you, motherfucker. Okay? Leave your motherfucking truth. Okay? And say exactly how it is. That your ass is a barb. Point blank, period. You got a look of fame and whatever, whatever. Just own up. If you want to be moving different, just say, you know what? I want to move different. So, bitch, move different. The fuck? But don't be out here denying shit as if we don't know. The receipts are there. But anyway, the verdict for Lil Nas X out here denying 
you know, facts about him being a bab is this ain't it. This ain't it. Okay. So you better come out clean. Okay. And speak the motherfucking truth. The fuck. But yeah. Some babs like him out here forgetting about where he came from, you know, doing the most, you know. But um not everyone, not everyone be on some on some whitewash vibe, you know, like not everyone be on some wishy washy flip flapping flip flapping flip flapping vibes, okay, coming from the kingdom, you know, like the Nikki fan pay or the Nikki fan club. And, you know, as the fan base, you know, like I said myself, Jerome Penn, I'ma have the same black clout energy. Wherever you see me, you know, however you see me. Bitch, I'ma still be repping Tim Minaj forever. The fuck? And somebody else who's, you know, who stays being confident, who stays, you know, showing respect to the queen, wherever he does, wherever he goes, okay, is Kali M official. You already know. I stay talking about him because I stay fucking with him and I stay being loyal to my fucking authentic, my fucking talent. The fuck? He's everything. And that is on period. Don't play with me, motherfuckers. If your ass is in out here, listen to different caliber. You better get into the motherfucking EP, okay? The link is still on my motherfucking bio, okay? So click it and get into it you already know my ig page if not well stay to the end you know for me to show you you know what name it is but his page is um kali m official underscore wait let me say it properly because i'm pretty sure that's exactly his name Yes, I was right. Kali M official underscore. That's his IG page, okay? And right about now, as you wear, his EP done good, okay? In a rap journal, done excellent, amazing, top 10 realness. The receipts are there. I've shown them and I can still pull them up, okay? So I can remind my fuckers what time it is. Boom. You see that? Okay. He stays popping, honey. Okay. So your ass better get into it. And if you want to be knowing his lyrics, you know, because they're metaphors and punchlines, it can be going over some people's heads. They're not ready for it. And you know who stays influencing us like that? The Queen, Nicki Minaj. You understand? Okay. So get to his YouTube page. Okay. So his YouTube page, make sure you subscribe to his YouTube page. And like I said, you can listen to, um, you can listen to his um his EP. He he uploaded lyric videos to all of his songs in his EP. Okay, and Spot the Blunt is my favorite. Like I live for that song. Okay, so honey, you better get into it and support him. Okay, and support him. His YouTube um his YouTube page is um officially is Kali M Kali M official one. Okay, Kali M official one. That's his YouTube page. You better get into it. As you know, you can find him. Search him on Google. Just write Kali M. You got it. Boom. Okay, Kali M. Different caliber. You've got it. Boom. Everything is there. Okay. Click on videos. YouTube. You there. Okay, honey. Just stay supporting, okay? That's all I'm saying because he's authentic with it, okay? And I support him. And like I said, he ain't no Lil Nas X out here doing the most, you know, not, you know, not representing and not, you know, and not keeping it 1,000. He stays keeping it 1,000, okay? Like I said, he ain't new to this. He stays true to this, okay? Showing support to the queen, okay? So, yeah, honey, um, before I end this live, like, if you remember what I said at the beginning, mm -hmm, you asked thought I'm not going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. The fuck? So, I already spoke about Drake out here, you know, moving to Meg the Stallion. That's not enough, because you already know he stays doing a lot with his lips. I don't know. I thought it was a, I thought it was a light skin thing. I don't know what, I, I didn't understand what, what was that about. I don't know, you know, but that's not enough. Like, dead ass, I'm telling you. He wants to be the baddest bitch in town. I'm telling you. He wants to be the baddest bitch. That's all I gotta say, okay? And the reason why I'm saying it, because you already know. He's already a messy, notorious baddom, okay? In the industry, out here doing the most. Mm hmm So, yeah, I mean... <sighs> If you, if you want to be the baddest bitch and whatever, you gotta, you know, like, like, you gotta get your Kylie Jenner on. That's all I'm saying, okay? So it is what it is. All I'm saying is, he's out here using Kylie Jenner's products, okay? Or doing some Kylie Jenner transformation out here with them lips, okay? Because, honey, have a look at the pictures and see for yourself. And I'm telling you, 
don't be out here saying to me, oh my God, it's a motherfucking edit of the video or whatever. Or, you know, all oh, this and that, this and this and that. Bitch, there's no edit. Bitch, there's no different angle. Bitch, there's no other explanation. It's simple as he's out here done something to his lips. Okay. Them lips wasn't big like that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. He's done something to his lips. Okay, so what? People do surgery. Don't be, you know, don't be out here coming for people with surgery or whatever. So what if it's a man? So what? Let him be, let him be. Honey, nobody's stopping him. I'm just saying how it is. Okay, he's giving me bad bitch realness. Okay. Collagen tease. Okay. So if your ass pays attention to details, have a look at this picture from before. Look at them lips, honey. Look at them lips. Uh -huh. Now, have a look at the picture right about now that he took, obviously, you know, showing off them new lips, honey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see that? Uh -huh. I'm telling you, he's done something to them, but it is what it is. Like I said, he can do as he please, but I'm just keeping it 1,000. He's serving bad bitch realness. Okay. So, yeah, honey. Um, I gotta give him a verdict, though, because he stays doing the most. He really does. He really does stay doing the most, honestly. You know, from the style mark to the lips. And he just stays moving dirty and whatever. And he stays being a messy bad him or whatever. So I'm gonna give him a verdict, to be quite honest. Yes, Drake. You asked thought you didn't get a verdict, you know, from the Megan Thee Stallion when I spoke earlier. Bitch, I'ma still give you a motherfucking verdict, okay? And the verdict is, this ain't it. This ain't it, okay? You're doing well. Way too much, okay? Way too much. Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down, okay? If it wasn't enough for you with them ghostwriters, with them culture vultures, and whatnot, and this and this and this and this and that, now you're out here doing all this with your lips, like, simmer down. Simmer the blood clap down, okay? So, yeah, honey. Thank you for staying tuned to the pen call, okay? I hope you motherfuckers have a good day, okay? I hope you're out here staying being positive. I hope you're out here, you know, doing your thing, you know, sipping my realness, okay? So you better, like, subscribe to my YouTube page so you're obviously aware, you know, what's going to be happening next, okay? And check out my freestyles, okay? Jerome Penn ain't trying to be a rapper. Remember that. I'm an entertainer, okay? I'm not a rapper. rapper. I'm an entertainer who loves to rap. I'm an entertainer who loves speaking in bars. Okay, why not? Why not? Bitch, I just do I just do as I please. They're from so yeah, so make sure you check out my freestyles. I done gave my fuckers like four different freestyles in one week. Okay. So check them out. And like I said, subscribe to my YouTube page. Okay, Jerome Penn. And make sure you follow me on Instagram. I've got three pages as you can see them. The pen report. The pen report one and the pen course, okay? And you can follow me on Twitter, okay? As you can see the pages as well, at Jerome Pen 9 at the pen report, and at the pen court, okay? So, honey, you can find me in six different ways. <laughs> I'm telling you. I stay on it, honey. I stay on it. So, yeah, like I said... Thank you all for joining uh, the pen call and listening to me. What the fuck I had to say on this realness edition. All right. And have a good day. And stay being positive. The fuck? Like, just stay being positive, honey. And keep it litty. Okay. Take care now. Bye. I'm a honey. I'm always going to keep saying this. This wig is out here doing the most. The fuck? Out here moving like, you know, like, like, like Drake's fucking lips doing the most. The fuck? I'm gone. Mm hmm.